Hello, my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. So, guys, this is our live science, which is basically from NASA and NOAA. And they're telling us the universe might be a giant loop. And then the question is, what shape is space? So here we see early data from the Planck collaboration maps, the cosmic microwave background across the sky. So everything we think we know about the shape of the universe may be wrong. And that's if you follow mainstream thought. Now, if you've looked into the mysteries and are trying to put together what the mystery traditions, along with other esoteric traditions, have spoken of, then you might have a, a better idea. So what they're saying here is that instead of being flat like a bed sheet, our universe may be curved like a massive inflated balloon, according to a new study. That's the upshot of a new paper published on November 4th in the journal Nature Astronomy, which looks at the data from the cosmic microwave background, the CMB, the faint echo of the Big Bang. And not everybody believes in the Big Bang either. But not everyone is convinced. The new findings, based on data released in 2018, contradict both years of conventional wisdom and another recent study based on the same CMB data set. No kidding. So contradictions. Imagine that. If the universe is curved, according to the new paper, it curves gently. That slow bending isn't important for moving around our lives or our solar system or even our galaxy. But traveling beyond all that, outside of our galactic neighborhood, far into the deep blackness... And eventually, moving in a straight line, you'll loop around and then back, end up right back where you started from. So another thing that is supposed to be a misconception is the deep blackness. That it's not really black as we perceive, but actually just, just like they were telling us before, that it's a complete vacuum and there's nothing out there. But yet we know there's viruses and bacteria out there and the building blocks of life itself. The sun is always throwing off hydrogen. So it's part of the way of the universe to be conductive for what we would call biological life. So they're basically saying that you could go out there and eventually you're going to loop back around to the same place. What do you guys think about that? So cosmologists call this idea the closed universe, and that's been around for a while. But it doesn't fit with existing theories of how the universe works. So it's been largely rejected in favor of a flat universe. Look at that. There are flat earthers, and there, I guess, the mainstream science is thinking we have a flat universe. So that'll make the flat earthers feel good. Uh, that extends without boundary in every direction and doesn't loop around itself. Now an, an anomaly in data from the best ever measurement of the CMB offers solid but not absolutely conclusive evidence that the universe is closed after all, according to the authors. And the, it gives you a list of some of the authors of this study as well. So the difference between a closed and open universe is a bit like the difference between a stretched flat sheet and an inflated balloon. So Melchiori, one of the researchers, told Life Science, in either case, the whole thing is expanding. When the sheet expands, every point moves away from every other point in a straight line. When the balloon is inflated, every point on the surface gets farther away from every other point. But the balloon's curvature makes the geometry of that movement more complicated. That means, for example, if you have two photons and they travel in a parallel in a closed universe, they'll eventually meet. In an open a flat universe, the photons left undisturbed would travel along their parallel courses without ever interacting. The conventional model of the universe's inflation, Melchiori said, suggests that the universe should be flat. Rewind the expansion of space all the way back to the beginning, you know, just milliseconds or even farther back than milliseconds after the Big Bang according to that model, and you'll see a moment of incredible exponential expansion as space grew out of that infinitesimal point in which it began, and the physics of that super-fast expansion point to a flat universe. And that's the first reason most experts believe the universe is flat, he said. If the universe isn't flat, you have to fine-tune the physics of that primordial mechanism to make it all fit together, and redo countless other calculations in the process. 
but that might up being might end up being necessary the authors wrote in the new study that's because there's an anomaly in the CMB. The CMB is the oldest thing we see in the universe, made up of amb ambient microwave light that suffuses all of space when you block out the stars and the galaxies and other interference. It's one of the most important sources of data on the universe's history and behavior because it's so old and so spread throughout space. And it turns out, according to the la latest data, that there's significantly more gravitational lensing of the CMB than expected, meaning that gravity seems to be bending the microwaves of the CMB more than the assist existing physics can ex explain. And so the data the team is drawing upon comes from a 2018 release from the Planck experiment, a European space agency experiment to map the CMB in more detail than ever before. And to explain that extra lensing, the Planck collaboration has just tacked on an extra variable, which the scientists are calling a lens, to the group's model of the universe's formation. This is something that you put there by hand trying to explain what you see. There's no connection with physics, Melchior said, meaning there's no a lens parameter in Einstein's theory of relativity. What we found is you can explain explain a lens with a positively curved universe, which is a much more physical interpretation than you could explain with general relativity. But again, it's not conclusive. So what do you guys think of all of this? You know, again, we have talked about so much how all the science that we're getting now is contradicting the previous science. So what do you believe? Well, many believe that reality is actually a 2D universe and that what we're living in is a hologram of that 2D universe. And in a sense, there again, the flat earthers could say, see, I was right, because everything is flat and it's just a, a hologram, a representation. It's the matrix that we live in. So is that really the case and everything is just a hologram or Maya, as B Buddha said? Yeah, it's all just an illusion. It's not the real reality. But we see there's some similarities. When we, when we look at the occult or esoteric saying, actually it comes from the Hermetica, as above, so below. And again, as within, so without. We see uh, the Taurus and the galactic plane. So is it a Taurus? Is the, uh, the Taurus itself kind of the basic shape of the foundation of the universe and also the foundation of man itself? As you see the electromagnetic field of the heart, that the heart emanates, which is actually a much stronger electric and magnetic field than what the brain emanates. So can we take that as above, so below mentality? As you see here, the torus is a fundamental geometry in the universe and intimately connected to source or essence of our existence. It demonstrates that spirit and the human soul are one. And here we see some of the universal sacred geometry. We see that golden spiral. We see the patterns that keep repeating themselves all throughout nature as we're looking into the fundamental nature of reality, it's very self. And again, the torus is a form of flowing energy dynamics at every scale of existence. The 3D structure of the torus is the vector equilibrium. It's the blueprint by which nature forms energy into matter. And we can observe it everywhere, in atoms, cells, seeds, flowers, trees, animals, humans, hurricanes, planets, galaxies, and even the cosmos as a whole. And when we look at that, and we could see that reflection, again, the as above, so below. That perhaps makes things a little bit clearer. As you see some of the most fundamental shapes of existence. We look at cellular mitosis. So, you know, perhaps our universe is a cell that is expanding outwards in one direction, so to speak, kind of. When you look at it, there's pressures on it, as we see the galactic plane. And perhaps the universe itself is undergoing mitosis and eventually will split into two cells, two universes. Perhaps this goes on forever. Maybe the universe itself is just one single cell 
in what we might call God, prime creator, source. And perhaps this is what goes on ad infinitum, goes on forever. The mirror of as above, so below. As we see, you know, there's a lot of science to this. Again, look at the fingerprint, each one unique, the spirals that go on. It's all about frequency and vibration. So my friends, what are your thoughts on all this? As always, I look forward to your comments. Thank you so much for your support on Patreon. Come join us over there for just a dollar a month. You can help the channel keep going and also get to see some unique videos. And also, if you're so inclined, join us on Ko-Fi as well for a one-time donation to support the channel. And as always, subscribe to both channels, EE Arts, as well as Evolutionary Energy Arts. Make sure to click the bell so you get all the notifications, or at least some of them, as it's supposed to work, if it does work. <laughs> as always, my friends, I look forward to your comments. God bless and namaste.